For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com. That's crispy. Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Jax Deluxe Impact Series 12 Hernandez figure. This is Hernandez's latest figure with his all new attire and look with updated tattoos and whatnot. And I think uh, Jax did a really nice job on it. I haven't watched TNA in a long time, so I don't really know what Hernandez is up to these days. However, his figure looks really nice and I'm happy to have it in my collection. That being said, let's take a look at him up close in the packaging. As you can see, there's a Deluxe Impact Wrestling logo there. There's a picture of Hernandez there. He kind of looks like Kurt Angle to me a little bit in that picture for some reason. Uh, here's Hernandez in a standard pose. It says Hernandez, Series 12. Has a little choking hazard due to his elbow pads and knee pads. Company information at the side there. Looking at the back. There's the Impact Wrestling logo. Also in the set is Hernandez, who I'm currently reviewing. Bully Ray, Magnus, and Chris Saban. There's a Series 12 logo and company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Deluxe Impact Series 12 Hernandez figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty cool figure. I'm really impressed with all the tattoo work that Jax has done on it. Um, it looks really good. Also, all the details on his tights and whatnot as well just really make this figure of Hernandez pop out compared to his other one. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So that being said, let's take a look at him up close. As you can see, here's his latest serious head scan. You can see the detail in his facial hair down here the wrinkles in his head which is pretty cool as well I like when they do that um, it's a ball jointed head that goes up and down as well as left to right looking at his torso you can see all his tattoos sorry about that you can see all his tattoos there very detailed on the back as well it says Hernandez he has the typical ab crunch joint. He has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. He has a swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joints covered by these thin rubber black elbow pads which are detailed. You can see the wrinkles and other uh, authentic look to it there. Uh, you can see more of his tattoo on his forearm and he has his tattoo on his shoulder there as well. And he has his black wrist tape, the swivel wrist joint and the joint that goes up and down as well. It is a closed fist. Uh, mine unfortunately has a loose arm as you can see so it won't stay up unfortunately. Um, but you can see more tattoos there and stuff as well. So just hopefully yours isn't as loose as mine is. That's disappointing for animating and posing purposes. Um, looking at this arm he has more tattoo work. More tattoo on his forearm as well. And more there on the inside of his bicep as well. Looking at his lower torso, he has a swivel waist joint. He's got his silver tights with all his designs on it. There's a Texas logo there on both sides and like his Superman logo there. And it says Hernandez on the back as well and you can see the wrinkles in the legs which is cool. Um, looking at his legs, he has ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. He has a swivel thigh joint. He has double jointed knees covered by these thin black tall uh, rubber knee pads. You can see the wrinkles and other details in it to make it look authentic. They restrict the movement a little but not too bad so you can still pose them well. Then he has his tall black boots with the laces. And he has his ball jointed ankles that go up and down as well as side to side and however you want to pose it. And yeah. That's Hernandez. If you're a fan of his, I recommend picking this up once you're able to find him. Right now, I don't believe he's in the store. 
but you can get them online at ringsidecollectibles.com or some other retailer possibly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. I will see you soon. Thanks.